Warning. Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, here once again with another video. I am, of course, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves. And let me tell you something. Uh, last night was the stupid bowl, the stupor bowl, whatever you want to call it, because it puts you in a stupor just watching it. I mean, it's so boring, and who cares about sports? And I think I've come to the reason why I don't give a damn about sports at all, because... I used to say this to my gym teacher in school, I don't have a sport bone in my body, and it was true. I hate sports. I mean, it's just a ridiculous pastime. It's something you eventually grow out of. Well, you never grow out of Batman, that's for sure. But in any case, let's just face it here. It really, really sucked. It was a boring game. Two boring teams nobody gave a damn about uh, were chasing pigskin around and falling on top of each other as if that wasn't boring and cringe enough. Well, we had to have the ridiculous and insipid stupid commercials and also the boring and the boring as hell lack of diverse halftime show. I say lack of diversity because was there a white performer there? Oh, hell no. Were there white dancers? Jesus, no. So let's take a look at some of this cringe crap, and you'll see why it was a total disaster last night. It's Super Bowl Sunday. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. Mr. President, what did you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Mr. President, what is your message to Republicans who are prepared to block the January 6th you know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry yeah, is Yeah, thanks to you and your stupid Bidenomics, you schmuck. Not in price. Right. There was supposed to be an interview for the stupid bowl, but Biden didn't do an interview. Instead, he just did a, uh, a snack commercial. Why? Because the guy loves ice cream, and also an interview would be out of the question. He'd forget what the questions are, and he'd most likely forget where the hell he is. Shrinkflation. Call shrinkflation. Then we have this cringe-inducing ad, uh, basically pushing for RFK Jr. Check this out. For president who's seasoned through and through A man who's old enough to know And young enough to do Well, it's up to you, it's up to you It's strictly up to you American Value 2024 is responsible for the content of this advertisement and of course, we had to have an advertisement for the teaser or trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, like anybody cares. No more superhero movies. I mean, it's just going to be cringe-inducing garbage anyway. Still, nice to see Wolverine in the familiar blue and yellow tights. Yeah, Taylor Swift, nah, don't want to talk about her. She's not interesting to me. You had this no-talent wasteoid usher and Alicia Keys all dressed in red. Uh, from what I've heard, she was actually playing some sort of uh, the Black National Anthem or whatever on piano. I don't know that for sure. So Usher comes out in this big white costume, does these weird cringe dances. Maybe cringe is the wrong word. After all, in his dances, he was pretty much stealing MC Hammer's moves, who in turn stole James Brown's moves. Well, nothing more needs to be said here. This is what I was talking about, with Beyonce showing up in the what appear to be uh, combat fatigues, and also the ammo belts. Of course, 
you'll remember this cringe-inducing moment, which probably started the whole thing off way back in 2004. At awkward moments like these in past Super Bowl halftime shows, does nobody learn anything from past screw-ups? I guess not. To Alicia Keys' credit, she was playing the piano, so she didn't, so she wasn't dancing around like an idiot. However, according to what I've heard, she was singing the Black National Anthem. I don't know. They had the sound on in, the, in a bar I was at last night, and well, quite frankly, uh, I wasn't paying attention because I don't pay attention to hip-hop. I hate that garbage. And quite frankly, it's not even true music. Why did they stop inviting great rock and roll bands? Since when did they quit inviting great bands like ZZ Top, The Stones, and... Uh, well, Tom Petty's dead, but he played the Super Bowl halftime show, and he was phenomenal. Then you had other great acts. <clears throat> you know, I remember Paul McCartney played the, some, the halftime show. I remember that uh, Kiss played the halftime show. Then they stopped inviting white acts. Why? Because they're just too white. We gotta have more of my blacks there, and we gotta have more uh, diversity. That's not diverse when you have two black entertainers. You should have had one white entertainer and one black entertainer. But these people never learn their lesson. Yes, we did have a nice performance here. <clears throat> so there you had it. The lowlights of the Stuper Bowl. At least one good thing did come out of it. And that was Reba singing the national anthem. I just wish she hadn't warbled and yodeled at the end. That would have been nice. But at least we had some diversity there, I guess, if she's the only white performer who's singing the national anthem. But to the player's credit, nobody took a knee, and there were a few people singing along, lip-syncing along, even uh, weeping. We saw one football player in quiet weeping, and that's fine. So, overall, it was pretty much a cringe disaster. Two teams nobody gave a damn about playing, and also cringe performances at the halftime show. Overall, oh yeah, not to mention really crummy commercials that were just cringe-inducing crap. So, I guess in a nutshell, that was the 2024 Stupid Bowl. Oh well, see you all later in another video, and remember, if you like what you saw, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Also, remember that if you are still subscribed, make sure you are, because some people are getting unsubscribed thanks to YouTube's screwed up algorithm, so keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that wokeness is weakness. And above all else, remember that we need the power to the people back, not the power to Biden and his ridiculous cringe commercial selling overpriced snacks. And also, the power to the music in the streets. And that really should have been great rock and roll played at the Stupid Bowl. Peace.